We will be using the CompuStat Capital IQ database to find information related to quarterly and annual filings. Here we are at the CompuStat Capital IQ page. We can scroll down to CompuStat. Because we're interested in the United States, we can click on CompuStat North America. The Fundamentals Annual database contains information extracted from the 10K, while the Fundamentals Quarterly database contains information extracted from the 10Qs. Let's take a look at what Fundamentals Annual database looks like. You can choose your date range. The date ranges from 1950, June, until whatever month it is. Next, let's take a look at step two, apply your company codes. There are multiple ways to look up your company. If you want to look up the entire database of records, then you can go to search the entire database and click on it. Alternatively, if you know that there are only certain companies that you care about and there are not too many, you can enter them individually. Imagine I'm only interested in two firms, Tesla and Twitter. I can enter in their ticker here. If I don't know the ticker code of a company, I can go to code lookup. I can type in a search term. So for example, I'm interested in the firm Tesla and it'll search for me. I'm interested in Tesla Inc. So I can add the attribute code to query since it gives me the ticker symbol over here. Next, we can look at variables that we're interested in in step three. There are 974 data items that's been collected inside CompuStat Fundamentals Annual. The first tab search all has all the categories, these 974 into separate categories, such as identifying information, company descriptor, balance sheet items, income statement items, cash flow items, miscellaneous items, and supplemental data items. There are two ways to find a data item. First is you can search for it. Imagine I'm interested in the net income of a firm. This gives you a list of all the words that have the word net income in there. In this case, I'm interested in the net income number itself, so I can just click on it. If I don't want to select it, then I can uncheck and it'll come right back. If I'm not sure which of the net income numbers I'm interested in, I can always press the little question mark button. The question mark will lead to a pop-up window which gives greater explanation and detail regarding each of the individual data item. The second methodology is to look at each of the individual tabs. For example, if I'm interested in net income, then I would go to the income statement items tab. Click on the Income Statement Items tab, and it'll list 328 income statement items. Scroll down and then find information related to net income. So these are all alphabetized. I can go towards net income right here and click on it once again to select net income. Once we have selected the data, then we can export it. This brings us to step four. Click on the Excel spreadsheet. Then I will click on Submit Form. Once I click on Submit Form, a new query has been established. Then I can click on the query number, click on the Excel file, and then export the data. If you're interested in quarterly data, then you can go to Fundamentals Quarterly. The steps for Fundamentals Quarterly and Fundamentals Annual are very similar. Step one, choose your date range. Step two, apply your company codes. Then you can choose your variable types. And step three, 
And finally, you can select the query output in step four. Now you know how to use the Wharton Research Data Services Fundamentals Annual and Fundamentals Quarterly databases.